Hey, what's up, YouTubers? I am here with the Verizon Samsung Galaxy S4 as well as the Samsung Galaxy Gear. And I'm going to show you how to pair the S4 with the gear as well as uh, run some of the features of the gear. And the reason why I'm using the Verizon Samsung S4 is because it just got updated with the Premium Suite last week, which added on a uh, new multi-window auto share. And uh, you can put a ticker on the bottom as well as a reading mode, which restructures web pages to make it easier to read. And uh, it also has a few other features on there, but I'm not really going to get into detail with the premium suite features. The main thing is it adds on the option to add gear manager, which controls the Samsung Galaxy gear. Now to update your phone to the premium suite, you're going to go into your settings, go up to more at the top corner here. Go to about phone at the bottom and there's your software update. So once your phone is updated with the new software, you can download the the gear manager. And how you're going to do that, uh, you actually have to have the gear first with the Verizon version because it does not have Samsung apps on there. So you're unable to download the gear manager right away. But you put your gear into this cradle, which, you know, it shows you it's pretty basic. You match the pins up to the back of the Samsung Galaxy gear. And it has a little door on the side here. And you actually, um, you know, close it in on the watch. And that enables the NFC on the back side here. So your watch can read the NFC from the S4. So you want to make sure and have your... NFC on on the S4 and also I found that it was easier to keep the Bluetooth off as well because it kept trying to reconnect through Bluetooth to the gear uh, when all you need is the NFC. So you'll have your cradle on here and you'll want to put your watch upside down and you're going to actually, you know, you can pull apart the band to make this easier but you'll match your phone up to the back of the gear and hold it there for a second you know it should beep or vibrate and and that means you're connected so uh, once you get connected the gear manager should automatically start downloading onto your phone and I'm gonna show you the gear manager here and go over a few details so gear manager is really simple to run and it is going to uh, it's going to operate everything on your uh, gear so you know you can go into you've got all your settings here on the gear manager you've got clocks you've got your apps so you can view all the apps you've downloaded Samsung apps on here is actually where you're going to download everything for the gear and the cool thing about it is you know it'll pull up all of your options here for the different types of apps and let's just go into fitness and health here but everything that it has is going to be just for the gear it's not going to pull up you know all of the apps that you can download on your phone so that way you don't really have to sort through them which is nice alright moving on you can go to find my gear and what this is going to do is simply if you lose your gear you can go on your phone click start and it's going to basically pull up a little alarm on your phone or on, on the gear so you can find where that's at. And it also works in reverse which is awesome. You can go on your gear and find your phone if you lose that as well. Alright, the next thing is settings here. So this is basically the settings for the gear. You know, you have auto lock. Basically you can put a pin on your uh, gear as well. You can put... Uh, or you can have notifications on so you can re receive like your email notifications your messaging all of that stuff which we can go over um, I'll just show you real quick so you have your alarm calendar I have chat on on here you know these are all the the basic things that you can get updates for smart relay is where you can view content on your gear from your mobile device so if you have a notification on your device you can go over and just pick up your phone and see it right away uh, the wake up gesture on here I have it set to you know if I lift my arm up that's when I can see everything displayed on my gear so basically I'm going to pick my wrist up and turn it over just like that and I can see everything on the gear 
which you know like right here it'll show you everything if you click on it so you can turn it on over here and view what it does over here all right moving on you know you have your help option there as well they can walk you through things but I'm going to show you a few different things on the gear first off how you change all the clocks on here I'll just give you a quick example I have an app on here called watch styler and that's downloadable through the market and you can actually create your own background so you know I created a Bulls background since I'm a Bulls fan and it pulled that up for me you know, I can change it to just about anything on here um, it has a lot of different options which is awesome because I can wear my Bulls background you know for everyday usage and then if I'm going out to a nice dinner you know maybe throw on one of these analog clocks make it look a little more classy all right, let's go over to the gear here, and I'll show you a few cool things about this. So, the gear has one main button. This is your power button on the side here, and that's going to allow you to turn it on and off, as well as double tapping will pull up your S voice. So I can uh, activate that. I can text people. I can call people. And also, if you touch that, it'll bring you all the way back to the home screen. All right. And then, you know, it's an adjustable watch as well. It has a little latch. So basically, this will flip down and latch. It has a microphone on it. Um, it has your camera on there, which is nice. Uh, it faces outward on your wrist just like this. So, you know, if you have any kids or anything and you want to take a quick picture, it's cool because when you're at the home screen, all you have to do is swipe down and it brings you straight to your camera so um, and it's a pretty decent camera for the for a, a watch as well you know and just being on your wrist alright going back to the home screen the next shortcut I'm going to show you is getting to the dialer all you do is swipe up from the bottom and it'll pull up your dialer so you can call people you can also use S voice to do that as well which S voice seems to work really well on here and then moving side to side, you have your notifications, you have your S voice, which again, you can access your S voice by double tapping on the power button on the side. You've got a voice memo, so if you need to go get groceries or anything like that, you can leave yourself a note. You've got the gallery on here, media controller, so if you're at the gym and you don't want to pull out the phone you know every few seconds to change the song you can just change it straight from the galaxy gear as a pedometer you know this thing has a lot of uh, active you know fitness apps right now on the on the market on the Samsung apps so well, it's a great tool for staying in shape like I said you know with the media controller if you go to the gym that's awesome as well and you know if you have uh, kids or something and you want to keep your phone in your pocket so they don't want it all the time you can just control everything straight from the gear uh, you can go into your settings here that'll have you like your clock sound volume display your battery uh, which I'll show you a shortcut to get to those in a second so um, and to go back one screen on here you just pull down and it'll take you back one uh, one screen otherwise you can hit the power button on the side and that'll take you all the way back uh, you have your apps on here as well, so you know the weather, voice memo, timer, stopwatch. Uh, this also has your find my device on here, so if you lose your phone, you can just uh, find it directly through using your Samsung Galaxy Gear. Go back a screen here, you can view the call logs, your contacts, and then a few other shortcuts that are good to know uh, are using two fingers. So basically I can uh, double tap on here using two fingers which is sliding back on me because I'm not holding it but this will pull up your uh, go back again it'll pull up your volume here so I can turn up the volume I can turn up the brightness on here it's got the battery on there as well as Bluetooth uh, just showing that it's connected now if I go to the um, the home screen again and hold down on it it's going to pull up all my recent apps so I can 
either go to those apps or close out of them either way and that is basically it for the gear it's an awesome device you know it's useful like while you're driving you can talk on it and the cool thing is the the microphone is awesome on there it'll really cut out all of the background noise uh, and you can even have it you know down by your side and people can hear you and you know it's on speakerphone obviously but you can also connect to a bluetooth headset as well from your phone which is awesome because you know if you don't want to take the call through the gear you can take it through the bluetooth headset and you know you can text people on the road through s voice and it's really nice for driving because you, if you have your hand up on the steering wheel you can hear them perfectly and they can hear you like i said it, it blocks out a lot of background noise really well and that is all i have for the samsung galaxy gear and the s4 which just got updated with the premium suite